Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to help you understand and show you how to factorize. Factorizing, you need to know your times tables. Yes, your times tables, because you're going to realize that we need to work out the factors. If you remember, you would have learned about the HCF, the highest common factor. The highest common factor we covered in a previous lesson. So here, exactly the same. We're going to use the highest common factor when we are factorizing algebraic expressions. Let us go through these examples. They are not hard, but you need to know your times tables. We look here and we have 3y plus 12. And the question says factorize. Factorize meaning look for the highest common factor. The highest common factor in 3y and the highest common factor in 12. So the factors of 12, the factors of 3y, you need to know your times tables to realize that the highest common factor here is going to be 3. The highest common factor in 3y and in 12 is 3. Now the highest common factor meaning what number, or even sometimes pronumeral, will go and will divide into this term and into this term. We know that looking at this, 3 is the only number that will divide in both of them. It's the highest common factor. So our answer will be 3, which is our highest common factor, goes outside and the remainder, 3 divided by 3 is gone. We're left with y and we know the plus is there, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So our answer is 3, open bracket, y plus 4, close bracket. One more time, we are looking for the highest common factor. We know 3 is the highest common factor in here and in there. We divide by 3, we're left with y, the plus, and 12 divided by 3 is Four. Now, what do you notice here? You notice that we have brackets. Factorizing is the opposite of expanding. When we were expanding, we had our question like this, and we multiplied 3 times y, and we got 3y, 3 times positive 4, and we got plus or positive 12. So now we are going the other way around. We're going from here, and we are factorizing and we go back to our form in brackets or in, in a way where it is written, where the highest common factor is outside and we have our brackets and the y plus 4 inside. So if you want to know, did I factorize correctly? Well, all you need to do is expand again. 3 times y, 3y, 3 times positive 4, positive 12. Yes, we factorized correctly because our answer, once expanded, goes back and it will equal the top as it was there. Let's do this one. We're asked to factorize 5b plus 20. Again, what do we look for? The highest common factor. The highest common factor, and we divide both terms by the highest common factor. In here, if you know your times tables, you know straight away it's going to be 5. Now, we put the highest common factor outside, we put our brackets. Now, when we divide, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 1b. And positive 20 divided by 5 is positive 4. So, divided by 5, we have 1b or just b. 20 or positive 20 divided by 5, positive 4. We can see here 5 open bracket, b plus 4, close bracket. This is our answer. 
we want to check, is it correct? 5 times b, 5b. 5 times 4 is 20. Correct. We factorise correctly because we check and we can actually go back and see we got the same thing. So factorising is the opposite of expanding.